sneaker con day number one it is going down it is right before the event we are all set up got the booth in order with the whole blazing fam i need some more sound effects because i don't have enough for you people we are going to send leo to iron we'll have to see what we're going to get into maybe it's some sort of a challenge maybe it's just going to be a normal vlog where i just go around look at stuff maybe buy one or two things this backpack brings back the memories i haven't busted this thing out since i was a high schooler dang this was my school backpack we got the mags about to be changing into them today and i got jeans on instead of track pants which is not usually like me honestly i need to make a new pair of pants soon because all my track pants are getting kind of crusty <laughs> Yankees about to make a personal purchase. Pretty cool though, 280. I'm also in the training pit right here. Came across the Hollows Eve. Oh, well, these are the Grim Reapers, but they came out alongside the Hollows Eve. These things are sick. I've been trying to add them in the collection for a little while, but I don't know if I'm trying to pull the trigger. They're a little expensive, so we'll have to see. Tell me when you're ready. Honey! What? Where's my super suit? 20 minutes later. All right, so we are back. I have actually made my decision after a little bit of debating. I was thinking about selling my Hallow's Eve, the ones that These ones. These are the Hallow's Eve. I think I'm gonna sell them now. The ones that I have at home. Uh, I took the tag off. Bye bye, go get these legit check real quick. Yeah, go ahead, dude. All right, let's go to the legit check booth. All right, check. They look good to me. I'm gonna have them check them out anyways. They look good overall. We're good? Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. We're good, I got them. I'm low-key hype right now. I got a good price on them, and I'm glad I got them legit checked. That's the most important part. Knowing they're real is just a lot better than, you know, having me be like, oh, I wonder if they're fake. What are they? These in are the ones color. you were gonna get me in the, um, in turning me into a hype piece video. It was either these or it was the ones that I have now. Yeah, I love those ones. I they're tried awesome. these on. No, I like the ones I have better, but these are really nice. You guys know it's been a little while since I've actually done a sneaker con pickups video and it's kind of dope. I got this Yankees hoodie right here. Honestly, a great price for 280. These things can go really expensive if they're brand new and this one is not in bad condition whatsoever. Made a pickup that I really wanted to happen. I'm planning on selling my other ones because I'm not going to wear them. I'll definitely be busting these out really often. I think these are a great sneaker. What do you think of the off-white blazer? Blazer, is that what it's called? Yeah, the blazer. No joke. Uh, it's, you know, it's not bad. It's, uh, it's slick looking, I guess. Is it supposed to have this right there, like a serial number yep. set up? Is everyone different or? I'm not sure, honestly. No, oh, it's interesting. Is it reflective? You know how I feel about reflectivity. You love the reflective stuff, I but I don't think it is. Highly reflective. Right in my, in my eyes. You actually see my brain in that shot? <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't bought anything from a sneaker con in a really long time. Well, because you found that this city offered a lot. Every city has a little something something. This one had what you needed. What size That's are good. those? Those are 10, I think, right? Uh, might be too big, man. My hunt continues, bro. I was just saying, like, if you throw them in the wash, maybe they'll shrink to nine and a half. You never know. Is this your box? No. No? It's our box. It's our box. There's some napkins in it. Is it a trash? Bro, this is such a nice box, though. You did great today, man. Thank you. I sold a good amount of stuff today. Did a lot of cool things. A lot of people flexed on me. That's cool. We walked around Sneaker Con a little bit. Let's see Big A, he's gonna do a custom piece. Uh, he's gonna take my piece and customize it, so I'm pretty psyched about that. That should be pretty dope. Yeah, what do you no. think about walking around? Checking out the, there's a, a, a gentleman that made some hype beast dog apparel, and that was pretty cool. Pretty soon, time to get home. Yeah, we have a red eye tonight. Yeah, and then I got class in the morning, so not only I go from the airport, home, drop bags off, right to class, class, home. After class, go sleep for Maybe. the next 12 hours. Sleep, eat, rape, repeat. Is that copyright? I don't know, because it actually it was a guy that they YouTubed and they videotaped him. Eat, sleep, rape, repeat.
All right, guys, so right now we are at a booth that I've actually been to a couple times because y'all keep coming to the shows, it seems like. Pretty interesting Jordan 1. Didn't really catch them, honestly, the first time that they dropped just because I th how many things dropped that weekend? There had to be like yeah, 10, probably. 12 yeah. things that dropped. Nobody was paying attention. No one was paying attention. I mean, I literally was just looking at a lunchbox. It's so funny that you just say, this is a lunchbox for an Air Jordan 1. Basically, a school teacher is actually here and she's doing signings and stuff like that. So I was interested in getting a pair, getting them signed, getting a little story for the vlog before the event starts. I think that'd be pretty cool. So I'll take a nine. With the metal lacing right there, or lacing, with the metal lunch box right there. Hi, I just bought your sneaker. Oh, I'm so glad for you. Uh, Shoe Palace did an amazing job in attention, paying attention to detail. And it has my picture right there. I mean, that's, can you imagine so that? Awesome. And then if you open it, they had it wrapped in the tip of the tissue. Uh huh. I mean, it has my face. They don't make the retro cards anymore, but they made yeah, one for me. Yeah, back in the 90s, the, yes. all the Jordans would come with one, and yes. they made you a retro card. That's yes. so amazing. Then they have, besides the, they have the red laces. That's what I have. I love the red laces. So you like the red laces better? They and, pop out. And the Big Apple, what's that for? Yes, yeah, for teachers. Teachers, okay. It represents teachers. Frank Cooker is a shoe designer. What's your favorite shoe? I said retro ones. I like the fact that I represent teachers, women, and a, a Latina. And I like the fact that I'm not a model wearing a size two. What you see is what you get. I'm real. And that's I, what people love. Yes, and I like the fact that Shoe Palace, Johnny, one of the owners, and uh, the Jordan brand, they chose a community person. I mean, you're a representation of teachers and kids, right? I mean, that's a big deal. It also represents all unsung heroes, like police officers, yeah. military. And so guys, the SP Gina, I want to wear them. I want to show them some love. Got to beat them up, of course. That's the true way to wear a pair of Air Jordan 1s. <laughs> I don't want to break the lunchbox. So Leo and I right now are walking around looking for stuff. It's actually a very slow pace today. Yeah, it is. Much slower than yesterday. What is that, Guns N' Roses? Guns N Roses yeah. Nice, nice. I'm gonna keep this one for the personal. This is so awesome. And there's a couple of goodies in here. All right guys, so I'm taking one of my grails actually to the Legit Check booth once again because I definitely want to confirm the authenticity of these very rare sneakers. So Kanye back in 2009 was with Nike. So there was the Zens, there was the Blinks, the Tans. So right now we're at the SneakerCon Legit Check team. They are doing all that they can. These ones are no good? Yeah, it's no good. What's the reason? Can you show me? Can you put it on it? You see my little pony right there. Back to stamp right there as well. Yeah, I wanted to buy them. I'm good? Yeah, yeah. Enjoy them. Wow, guys, I just got one of my freaking grails right now. I'm more stoked than I was yesterday, because yesterday I was stoked the fact that I got these. And I haven't bought in SneakerCon like in months and months and months. This is something crazy right now. I'm taking my hard work for this weekend and I'm putting them into pairs that I really wanted to get for my collection. I've been looking for for years. Oh my god, can I guess? You can guess, but I know what you're gonna say, but it's not, but it's so close, so just say it anyways. The auto lacing Nike Mag? Oh, no, no. <laughs> They're really nice. Are they DF? Uh, pretty close to it. So we are on the way out of here right now. It's a great event, but all things have to come to an end. So we got a lot of great stuff today. Keep watching through. Keep following along the journey. We're about to do some crazy stuff. But overall, guys, it's a great day. Dad, how's today? Oh, it's great. Awesome. And thus concludes this episode of SneakerCon. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know what you thought my best pickup was. I personally still think that the Grim Reaper Off-White is my favorite pickup just because I'm gonna wear these a lot casually. I don't really wear a lot of hype casually. I'm usually caught in like flip-flops and ultra boosts. So this is gonna be nice. Also can't forget the Yeezys that y'all just saw. These are amazing. I was told that these are a promo sample for being 10 years old at this point. I hope they last a little longer before they're gonna need a soul swap, which is gonna be interesting because 
Not many soul swaps on Yeezys have been done yet. A lot of them are still, you know, kicking. To give you an example of what I mean, it's kind of starting to happen on this pair, that little indentation, that crack right there. The rest of the midsole is just gonna crack off with it. And these bottoms are also glow in the dark. So I wanna grab a video real quick. These have pretty much been charging up the whole time I've been recording. So let me take my phone. And they are glowing like crazy. I'm going to New York actually this weekend uh, tomorrow. So I'm gonna bust this out for the trip most likely along with some other Bape New York gear. When I brought them home, unfortunately, Unfortunately, the lid did break, so I wanna try and repair that. But the shoes, I'm gonna wear them. And big shout out to Gina for being so great and uh, letting me talk with her for the video. Recently, I've been going live on my Twitch channel, so make sure you guys check out the Twitch right after this video goes live because I'm gonna be live playing some games. I'll catch y'all over there, and I'll see you guys in a brand new video on Saturday. Have a great night day. Whenever you're watching, it's Blazonary. I'm out. Stay positive. Peace.